So we've got the Celtics clinching that top seed because the Cavs say their priority was not that top seed. It was resting players instead. Uh, uh, you know, when we look back on this move by the Cavs, we're going to say what about the fact that they rested players instead of getting that top seed? That they should have done it earlier. If the Cavs were go, if punting the number one seed was on the Cavs' radar, and by the way, for the record, I have no problem with it, but if punting the number one seed was on the Cavs' radar, they had business doing that a lot a lot earlier and a lot earlier before LeBron James started logging huge April minutes. I mean, LeBron James has got a 52-minute game in there in an overtime game against Indiana. He had a 47-minute game in there against, I, I, I don't think it was Boston, but I, I forget who it was against, but he's had some huge minute games. So if you punting the number one seed was something that at one point or another, the Cavs understood that they could do, it wouldn't kill them in the playoffs. Make sure that you're smarter with your key guys. They were not smarter with their key guys, and almost punting the number one seed came something they appeared to do out of desperation. So the way this whole cap season has shaken out, I don't love that. I don't love how and the way this happened. Again, you have to know there needs to be a little bit more of a plan in place about what we're going to do if this thing stays close. And at one point or another, when we're going to start pulling back on minutes, resting guys, there was no pulling back on minutes at all since they started sitting James and Irving. So, again, I don't have the biggest problem with it, but I just don't know that the two games of rest for James and Irving and the one for love are going to be enough, especially with James. James is the big concern here. With all those huge minutes that, he, that he's run, I don't know that this little bit of rest and punting the number one seed has a big effect. If they had looked at this April 1 and said, this is something we're willing to do, I think it would have been a much better, smarter decision because at least they would have had legitimate rest for James to build his strength. The way they did it willy-nilly at the last minute, kind of off the cuff, I, I don't love it. All right, so based on what you said there, and I don't know if you were listening, Geltsy, here in the segment right before we had you come on, Alex and I played a game called Calm or Concerned, and we talked about the Cavaliers losing four straight going into the postseason and how they've won only 12 games since the All-Star break. But I said, hey, that's the regular season. This is the postseason. There's reason for calmness because it's okay. The Cavaliers will, will flip that switch, and they'll be able to uh, be fine here in the postseason, make their way back to the NBA Finals. Alexa was a little bit more concerned about that situation. Where do you lie? Are you calm or concerned about their situation? I'm with my friend Alexa. I'm oh, concerned. Wow. Uh, I am concerned. First of all, they kind of did try to flip the switch, and the circuit appeared to blow a little bit. The, the switch didn't flip in the way that it normally has in the past for them, and that's of major concern. The competition is big concern for them. In the two seed, they're going to draw. I mean, assuming they get out of the first round, which I believe that they will, they're going to draw the Toronto Raptors with Kyle Lowry back healthy and Ibaka and P.J. Tucker. This is, to me, in terms of being built for the playoffs, a significantly better Raptors team than they faced last year in the conference finals. So I look at the Cavs. I look at their weak defensive personnel outside of Thompson and James, and I'm really worried about them. They, they've kind of exhausted themselves in the regular season here to win, what, 51 games and get a two seed? I, I, listen, I'm still going to pick them to go to the finals because I think until they're not the Cavs, they're still the defending champions, you kind of have to go that way. Am I confident in it? I'm not confident in it at all. If I'm the Cavs, I'm, I may be legitimately scared of the Raptors. The Raptors are that tough. And then you look at who they could get in a conference final. The Celtics or the Wizards. I mean, they're okay matching up against the Celtics. The Wizards would be another tough team for them that match up pretty well. So I look at the Cavs right now, and I am, I'm really concerned about where they stand and will they be able to get enough stops in a half-court playoff setting to be able to even get out of the East.